Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm Caroline and today I want to share with you my little holiday gift guide slash wish list. I know that we are only in about mid-November, but I wanted to give you enough time to kind of start thinking about the people in your life and you know people on your list in case you want to try to get some deals for Black Friday. I also want to just emphasize that the holiday season does not have to be about commercialism and buying up things and snatching up deals. There are a lot of people who, you know, receive and express love through gift giving. Homemade gifts can feel equally meaningful. You can bake a loved one a bunch of cookies. You can do thoughtful things like that. You don't have to break the bank. You don't have to spend a lot. But if there are people you want to purchase things for, this gift guide keeps a budget in mind and everything is under $300. One of the easiest ways to gift designer items to people in your love life without breaking the bank is going to be through beauty items and also through small accessories. One of my dear friends gifted me this YSL lipstick balm. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. And what is really great about these lipstick balms is that they're very hydrating. So hence, you know, the balm, like a lip balm, but they do deposit color. So the, the way that I'm wearing it right now is on the sheer side, the more sheer. I didn't do a lot of layers. I kind of did just a quick you can also build it up so that there's more coverage. I'll pop in a clip of me where I'm wearing it in a little bit more of an opaque way. So this is a great gift for people that you're not really sure what color lipstick they might wear because it's buildable. And so they can kind of customize it to whatever shade that they like. You can also give them things like card cases. You know, YSL also has really beautiful card cases. I gave one away as a giveaway earlier this year. I'm still kind of bummed about it because it's so gorgeous. I have had my eye on this really beautiful Gucci Marmont card case. Super functional with extra, you know, card slots on the outside. It even has a zipper. So it's really like a mini wallet. This one is cheating for me because I think that it retails for something like 370 so it is over 300 but I'm not counting it as cheating it because this is just my wish list. This is not an official gift guide recommendation. You can find a lot of card cases from designer brands for under 300 You can actually find a Saint Laurent card case that's very similar in functionality to the Gucci Marmont one for under $300. You can find, you know, Gucci card cases in the Marmont or, you know, the canvas style. You can find a lot of different brands with card cases and a way that you can make it a little more bit more thoughtful and more fun and not just, you know, I you know, drop some money on you, happy Christmas, you can, you know, write a very thoughtful little note or write down a little, you know, inspirational quote on a piece of paper and slip that into the card case as part of the gift, you know, or, you know, you can put in a gift card for the recipient's local coffee shop or a local business. A lot of local businesses would really appreciate, you know, that kind of gift giving, the gift card experience. So there are different ways to make gifting thoughtful and meaningful and not this like mindless commercialism that everyone tries to make it out to be. I am a huge, huge proponent of, you know, thoughtful gift giving because it's one of the ways that I give and receive love. So I don't like when people try to make it into this nasty thing. It can definitely be thoughtful. Another thing that you can do is kind of curate a gift basket, kind of something thoughtful for someone in your life. I think that this product is a really great base for something like this. It is a Bowie, I'm totally butchering this, Bowie, Bowie, <laughs> it's a body scrubber. Um, I'll go ahead and kind of open this for you. It comes in a bunch of different colors and essentially what it is is a little silicone loofah. So it looks like this. And what's great about it is that it is so good for the environment in more ways than one. That's another way that you can make your gifting more thoughtful and meaningful is when you're doing things that are good for the person and good for you know the environment around that person. So if you think about loofahs, loofahs are really bad for the environment because you do have to replace them every month, month or two 
to be hygienic because they're basically, you know, with all the loofah folds, bacteria can hide in it. It's not necessarily drying out as much as it should if it's just hanging in your shower all the time and you should be regularly replacing them. So you are essentially throwing away 12, you know, little balls of plastic um, per year. And loofahs aren't really easy to recycle. The great thing about this little silicone scrubber is that one, it is just an open surface on the front here, so it is way more hygienic. You don't have as many little crevices or surfaces for you know that nasty stuff to hide in it's very easy to wash off and two it only as a result of it not having as many folds and everything you only need to replace this twice a year every six months so you know you're using fewer products so that makes it better you're not instead of throwing away 12 balls of plastic you only have two of these and it's also recyclable. So you're not even throwing it away. You can send it back into the brand and they will recycle it and you can feel so much better about the impact that you're having because it's way, way smaller. Um, so this is a great option. You can see that it does have these little finger loops here. It is slightly large for my hand. I wish it was a little bit smaller. I do have kind of like smaller hands though. I can only reach barely an octave on the piano. So that's something to keep in mind if you have, you know, a wider finger span, it might be more comfortable for you. But I've been able to adapt no problem at all. You can just put your shower in. It does work up a lather still. It's not quite as, you know, foamy as you might expect from a loofah, but it gets the job done. And it does still have that massaging aspect that's really nice about loofahs. The other nice thing is that you just wet this baby up, slap it against the wall, and it sticks in your shower. It's you know, suction. It's amazing. I just, I really love the fact that you can send this back in and it's responsibly, you know, tucked away. So this is a really great gift for someone because you can put this together with some shower gel, with, you know, some body lotion. Um, and like I said, you have different colors available online. So you can, you know, theme it. You can get a green scrubber and you know, give like cucumber body wash. Um, you can make it really fun and really cool and thoughtful and something more than just here, you know, here's a gift that I, I bought you. It, it could be meaningful and you can make it thoughtful. I think that this would also pair well with some body wash and a candle so you can have a really nice bath, you know, wellness night. I really love, oh my God, I can smell this. I wish that you guys could smell the things that I smell sometimes because this is just, oh, this is so great. Okay, so this candle, I think candles are really a great gift. I've said this, you know, time and time again. I actually just bought a bunch of candles for, um, I think I featured a bunch of candles in my cozy at home favorites video. Basically everything in that video, just insert in here by reference as part of this gift guide as well. You know, Barefoot Dreams blankets, those are also really great gifts candles, candles especially. So this candle is from The Little Market. The Little Market is kind of a fair trade shop online with the intent of benefiting artisans all over the world. And it's co-founded by Lauren Conrad. She is the queen of like adorable at home goods. This is the chai tea scent. The last time that I checked the website, they did not have the chai tea scent online anymore but it has come back so just keep an eye on it oh my god it smells so good um there are also a bunch of amazing you know seasonal scents available as well it's just great i love candles i would also recommend the joe malone candle set that is on my wish list this year these are really luxe looking candles and i just love when you have a good candle set so that you can kind of let the person, your gift recipient, choose whatever scent they want. I have been dying to try the Jo Malone almond scented candle and oh, definitely on my wish list. I think candles are just perpetually on my wish list, I would say. Another great thing from the little market, I mean the little market just, you can get amazing amazing gifts from the site and you can feel good about knowing that a lot of these items are handmade 
They are benefiting artisans around the world. These are some Moroccan glasses that you can get on the little market. They go in and out of stock because they are super popular. They are made from Shabi Sheik, uh, which is, you know, a little Moroccan artisan. And technically they do stack. So you can, you know, store them in your shelf like this. Although I store mine separately because I don't want to ruin kind of like this artistry. You can see there's kind of gold paint around the rim here. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful cup. You know, there are things in our life that have both design and function. And this is one of those items. It's just beautiful. I love that it has this little lip here to make it nice to hold. And if we were able to, you know, invite people into our homes for a cozy cup of tea or, you know, coffee, cocoa, this would just be one of those cups where you would just hold in your hand and it would keep your hands warm and you can just sip it by the fire. Oh, I love it. And they're just beautiful. They're just freaking beautiful. So little market, pretty much everything on that site I love, but particularly these cups. Um, I would also consider these cups to be on my wish list. I would just, I'm gonna throw that on my wish list, guys. What, what have I been saying is on my wish list on this video. Let's just go ahead and add more of these cups because I think that they are gorgeous and I would love to have more of a set. Okay, guys, this is probably one of the most exciting things on this list, at least for me. I have talked about the Ocean Cleanup, I believe, on this channel before. The Ocean Cleanup is a nonprofit, and it's one of the largest kind of cleanups in the world of the Pacific Garbage Patch. If you have been living under a rock, you may not know that there is a huge, huge collection and patch of garbage floating in the Pacific Ocean and primarily a lot of that garbage is plastic and it's it's bad for marine life because marine animals might think oh that's a fish I'm gonna try to eat it they might get caught in you know a discarded net the ocean cleanup last year or, or the year before they went out brought back a lot of the plastic was able to sort it recycle it, create, you know, these different like plastic particles and use that new product to create something else brand new. They addressed in the reveal video, you know, some people have said, well, if they're just taking plastic out and creating more plastic products, what's to stop that new plastic product from ending up back in the ocean? And they addressed it this way. Part of the big reason why plastic product ends up in the ocean to begin with is that it's not valued. So if you think about things like a disposable plastic straw, a plastic fork, these things are made and intended to be thrown away and not cared for. The thought and intent behind creating this product was to create something that was valued and create something that is intended to be kept and passed along. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this because if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this already. They're just so cool. So you have, you know, the ocean cleanup little drawstring bag and are you excited? This used to be plastic floating in the middle of the ocean, guys. And now it is this beautiful pair of sunglasses. So they are polarized and they are unisex. So the fit is not gonna be perfect for everybody. Like for me, the fit is not 100% great, but I still think they're so cool and they're made from freaking ocean plastic. That's so cool. That's so cool. They, they really were very thoughtful about ways to prevent this from ending up back in the ocean. So this is not intended to be like a disposable sunglasses. This is not like your disposable spoon. This is something to cherish and something to value. And last but not least, for you Lux lovers out there, you gotta give a bag to somebody. And I would recommend the Coach collection, essentially. Um, specifically, this is the Coach Parker bag. They do have a smaller version which is super adorable and I actually might pick it up because right now I was looking at prices. You can get a Coach Parker, a smaller version of this con very same convertible backpack um, slash crossbody for $90 and, it, and Coach, 
has some of the best leather in the industry. You guys have consistently, you know, reinforced my messaging in your comments. One person actually commented on my coach collection video saying that she had a coach bag in Chanel and the Chanel associates were passing her bag around because it was so, you know, well made and they were astounded. I think that's a really great antidote. Coach again has some of the best leather on the market and this is no this is no exception. The Coach leather is just great. Some of you have asked me about color transfer and I hate to say it, I'm really not the best person to ask because I don't really care that much about color transfer and so I'm not super sensitive to it. So I kind of forget to even check. But specifically this bag, I haven't had a lot of occasion to use this bag like most people, I have been in lockdown since March and I got, I really started using this bag maybe in September um, prior, so only a few months and I have a lot of bags in my collection and I tend to rotate. So this bag hasn't been getting a lot of love, but it's in really great condition and again, I love that functionality that you can change it to a backpack or kind of like a crossbody shoulder bag and the small version is super adorable. You can get it on sale. I mean, these bags are regularly like, you know, 400, 500 bucks and the small versions you can get anywhere from 90 to 225. So well under my $300 limit for this gift guide. I would in fact even put, you know, a little Coach Parker bag on my wish list. I would love to have more of these and and the smaller size I would love to because they are so functional, they are so cute, they are so carefree because they are so well made. Again, not sponsored, I sound like I'm a total Coach bot, but no. I am not, they are not paying me to say this. I am just saying this from the bottom of my heart. I love Coach. I think Coach is a great, um, a great brand to give to people. All right, guys, we have made it through. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you have made it all the way to the end, please leave the word turkey in the comments down below so I know that you watched to the end and I know that you're gonna be doing some shopping for those people in your life. Again, think about shopping in a thoughtful and meaningful way, whether that's choosing special gifts, whether that's curating gifts for someone, or whether that's choosing gifts like from the little market or the ocean cleanup. You're choosing gifts that are good for the environment and good for the people and, and you know, gifts that pay it forward. That's, that's the whole idea of, of gift giving is you're, you're paying someone kind of a token of, of your love and that's the way that I see it. Thank you so much, you guys. Let me know if you're thinking about picking up any of this stuff in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're getting. And until next time, bye.